Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we've got a change from the norm. We've got a Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, I'm not sure of its age because it's on a private plate. I think it's a 1.2 petrol. It's definitely a petrol anyway. And the battery keeps going flat and it's got engine management light on. So we can see there on the dashboard we've got engine management light on and traction control light on and service ESC warning on the dashboard. Um, just going to quickly check the charge rate on it because she does say that every now and again the battery light does come on. Uh, I'm not going to look at any fault codes yet because our non-franchise diagnostic tool is in use with another person so let's go at this blind. So I've got the battery um, cables, sorry I've got the cables connected from a multimeter to the battery and currently it's ticking over and we've got 11.7 volts uh, so I'll just do some quick basic tests uh, let's just do a quick volt drop test so as I said quick volt drop test so I've got the cable on the battery negative there if I go to the battery negative post we're just volt dropping the ground there and we've got zero So between the terminal and the post, we've got no volt drop. Um, next I will do, I will just quickly put the earth cable onto a good ground on the engine and let's see what we've got there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the battery positive and now I'm on the engine ground and we've got a good charge rate there, 13.2 volts still a little bit low I think for such a flat battery not getting a good connection there there we go 13.6 so now what I can do to prove we've got a volt drop is I can take the battery positive off put it onto the negative so we're now volt dropping the negative side of the circuit and we've got a 1.7 volt volt drop so let's just confirm that the alternator is still charging okay. Let's go underneath and check the voltage at the alternator to a good ground. Okay, so underneath the vehicle now and I'm on the back of the alternator positive connection and on the starter motor ground connection with the fit wire heading off um, somewhere else which I haven't, I haven't checked where it goes yet. And we are still showing 11.8 volts on the charge if I was to move this now to the point where I was earlier on which is right up the top here the engine lifting height put it back up on there yes I know my multimeter is in reverse and we've got 13.6 volts so that's showing now that we've got a grounding issue so let's follow this earth cable and see where it terminates. Right, so I've lowered the vehicle down again and this is the earth cable here that's going into the harness, going to the back of the starter motor as its earth point. So I'll follow it down here, it disappears underneath the battery and difficult to see on the camera but I can see down here underneath the battery and possibly this junction box uh, we've got an earth point and also we've got a, a cable here so it's probably an earth point from here and from the starter motor which terminates at a point maybe a stud or something underneath here as I say I'm not familiar with these vehicles so what I'm going to do take the battery off uh, maybe the battery tray maybe even this junction box and let's see what we can find right so we've got the battery and the battery tray out and the ECU is just dangling there on its harness here's the earth point doesn't look very corroded to me but what I'll do I'll take it off give it a good clean up both ends clean the body side of it up and then with this cable here which goes into the harness I'll take it off at the starter motor as well clean it up at that end which is possibly where the fault may lie anyway um, build it back up and let's see if we've got it fixed In all fairness, it doesn't look very corroded, it's nice and shiny there, no corrosion on there or the underside there. 
or there, no pitting or anything like that, so it's not been loose. But as I said, I'm gonna do this job methodically. So we're gonna clean these terminal points up, the terminal ring terminals as well, build this side back up, take the one off the starter motor, which in all fairness did look a little bit corroded, and start her up, and let's see if we fixed it. So we're back up in the air now, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off that rusty uh, 13 millimeter headed bolt there, which is the earth cable from the point where we've just been underneath the battery. Have a good look at it, make sure it's all clean, give it a clean up if it's got any pitting or corrosion on it. Build it back up. So I've got the nut off there, as you can see. Let's just zoom in a little bit. I hope it focuses. It is quite rusty. And chances are this is our issue. I just zoom back out again and then show you in my hand. That is the business end of the nut itself. Very rusty. So I'm going to replace that nut, clean that terminal up, and I think that's going to be our issue. And there we can see the extent of the corrosion and the pitting on the ring terminal on both sides. So that's going to be our issue. Get it cleaned up and I'm sure then we will have a fix. Who says us dealer boys are just one trick ponies? So we've got it all cleaned up on both sides as best as I can. That's not particularly brilliant. Um, sorry, that's not particularly brilliant, it's quite pitted and it's gonna go a better, a better go at that. We also take this bolt out and give it a clean up on the wire wheel. So let's get that done and let's get it built back up. In fact, that's quite pitted that. I think I need to attack that a little bit further. Let's get a fire on it. Okay, so it's all cleaned up. We've got a new nut on there. Yes, I know it should have a spring washer on it, but we haven't got one. Uh, so it's on, it's very tight. I might even double lock nut it to be truthful. So let's get the rest of it built up and finally give it a test to see if it's fixed. So it's all built up now, and now we've got the moment of truth. As you can see, I've got the multimeter connected and it's showing uh, a surface charge of 11.96 volts. So now it's the moment of truth. Let's get it started up and let's see, one, if the engine management light goes out, or whether that's a different fault. I'll get that checked in a sec because I see the machine's uh, free to use now. And let's see if it's charging. So the engine management light's gone out, and so is the ESC warning. So that's looking good. And we'll just walk around now. And we're charging at a healthy 13.4 volts. So let's see what the amperage is on the start on the uh, charging cable as well. Let me just get my amp meter. So I've got the amp clamp around the negative terminal there. And what our class is an acceptance charge of 26.5 volts, roughly. That's uh, the charge going into the battery after the consumers have taken everything. So I'll leave it ticking over and get it get some charge back in the battery and I'm gonna call that a fix. Just confirming now a good volt drop figure. So I'm on the battery negative. I'm on the vehicle ground on the uh, lifting eye again. And we've got 0 0.082, well within the specifications. If I was just to put this now onto the positive, yes, I know again it's reading in reverse. We've got 13.5 and put that on there. There we go, 13.5 again. So just a simple volt drop test there, which showed a battery grounding issue with a pitted and corroded nut on the starter motor 
no special tools needed, just a basic understanding of vehicle electrics. So until next time, thanks for watching guys.